Hi, my name is Kaden. I'm growing your garage. And look at this awesome Chevy Express van that Wild Tank Designs built. So, like he said, once again, I'm Jeremy, that's Kaden, and we wanted to bring you on a little tour of the latest van that we got done building here. Um, and today we're down at beautiful Fiesta Island enjoying this awesome November weather. And we wanted to just kind of walk through this van, show you what we did to it. Um, this is another one of our four-wheel drive conversions. This is actually only the, the second van that we've completed with our four-wheel drive conversion on it. Um, it's been a huge learning experience and we're really trying to get these things um, dialed in and figured out and we're learning a, a ton in the, in the meantime. Um, but this is, um, this is it. So on this particular van, um, we're running our same front end that we always do. We went to our coilover setup, which is gonna include our box lower control arms, our billet upper control arms, your 2.5 King coilovers with the IBPs in them. What that means is it's got an internal bypass, so it's controlling the shock as it moves up and down. And then it also has the compression adjuster on it too. So when you come in here and take a look at it, you'll see that once again, this has the compression adjuster on here. So that allows you to make it stiffer. So if you're just driving it on the road and you don't want it to be really stiff, um, you can back it all the way off. Or let's say you're going down a road and you want it a little bit stiffer, it's gonna give you that on the fly adjustment, which is really nice in these King shocks. Um, you can see on this one, we went with a 17 inch method wheel. This is the NV and we are running it on a 285 70 17 ton of room in, in here still. And this is an Explorer van package here. So you can see that you are always getting a little bit smaller wheel well on the Explorer vans because of the ground effects. And that's why we went with the 285 on here, just to make sure that nothing is rubbing. In the front, we have a ton of room because we went with our aluminum plate bumper in the front and we'll slowly work ourselves the way around that and check that thing out too. But. We got the little man. What's up, little man? Let's go show him this front bumper. Where's it at? What's the best thing about this front bumper? What are those? Light force lights. Oh, we love our light force lights. Caden loves his light force lights. And you're going to start seeing these on a lot more of the builds that we do in order. I mean, these things are awesome. They work great. You're going to love them you know for sure um, this one does not have the winch in it right now but this gives you the room for the winch also and as you can see Caden's playing with the hole so if your winch still has a clutch lever on it you're able to slide this out of the way and adjust um, you know forward reverse free spool whatever you need to do in there so also in the back we've done our aluminum plate bumper in the rear um, step in the middle of it this is really nice makes it so that when you're getting in and out of the back of this you know you have that platform in order to stand on right there which is is really great like that is nice even as you can see the kids can climb right in no problem whatsoever and uh, we should just you know see you later 